Welcome back to the Marathon Mortgage Happy Hour. I'm Mike Witzek. And I'm Rory Farrell, and this is Flannel Friday. This is, yeah, apparently um, Rory got the email I sent out and uh, followed it. So That's cute. We're going to start doing this. You're going to do your yeah. little quotes at the end. Yeah, yeah. It's a whole yeah. new segment. This is, yeah, we're just <laughs> evolving as we go. So, you know, uh, today we have, what is this? Uh, I would love to hear you try and say the name of this company. Um... So, Laguntas? Laguntas? Close. What is uh, this it? is Lagunitas. Lagunitas. Which is, uh, Northern California. It's out of Petaluma, um, a classic craft brewery that has been around for decades. Um, and they never disappoint as far, especially their IPAs. But uh, so I've never had this, but what I tend to gravitate towards with non alcoholics is if it's a company that makes good alcoholic beer, yep. then uh, I got to assume that they're probably going to make a pretty good non alcoholic. Solid. So, this is called an IPNA, non alcoholic. Uh, uh, Hoppy, you know, hop forward and uh, less than a half percent alcohol. So we'll see how it goes. Nice. For our first bottle. Yeah. So we this literally, I pulled this out. I was like, we don't, I don't know if we have a bottle opener. Yeah. Yeah. I, is this our first bottle? No, it's mm -hmm. not. No, it's not because we opened up. Well, first like small format bottle. We did. We yeah. did. <laughs> we did well, a couple from my cellar that were. I don't know. I don't know if uh, they know about the cellar ones. I think we mentioned it, but yeah, I, uh, he forgot to record. And I pulled a bottle. No, a I forgot bottle. to record audio. The audio didn't record. Oh, that's what it was. Yeah, 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 I pulled a nice special bottle out of my cellar. You know, something that I was aging for years, and he, mm -hmm. he blew it. But yep. still good. It, it happens. All right. So Lagunitas, non-alcoholic IPA. Ooh, it's dark. A little brown, a little, little brown sugary. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be a little bit more on the malty end. We'll see. Still pretty clear. It's that traditional West Coast IPA, like very, very clean and clear. Yeah, this this smells like a real beer. Um, I feel like the taste isn't like th there's not much of a taste per se. It leans heavy on the hops. Like it's yeah. it's definitely it, it the the hops the ho like the bitterness does the heavy lifting on the as far as the flow, uh, mm -hmm. flavor profile. Mm -hmm. Smells really nice. Yeah. No, it's good. This is probably a little sweet. I would say this is number two. Okay. Yeah, so. I think the what I've learned is that there's so many good options for non-alcoholic beers. I might just shuffle them in every once in a while now. Um, yeah. You know, instead of having a couple regular beers, you know, have a couple regular beers and then filter in those. So, You're into it. There, yeah, that works for me. Now that they actually taste good. Yeah. Also, mustache check. Still growing strong here, dude. I mean, I guess I can barely see it. Yeah, I know, but that's the whole point of it. We, <laughs> we said we were going to do the segment on the last episode, and uh, I'll keep it going. Should we pull the, the ruler out? And just yeah, we should the see millimeter. how like, you know how how far out it goes. <laughs> this is also, by the way, a month of growing this out. This is doing nothing. Um, I bet you it doesn't even show up on the camera. No, I, <laughs> probably not. They'll just see like an out, like a shadow, smallly or something. <laughs> They're like, "What's this guy talking about?" Um, I'm gonna have to dye it. I'll get Julia to dye it. You know what you can do is um, just for, for short purposes, you can do some uh, eyeliner or uh, mascara. Mascara? Oh, oh yeah. Uh, that's uh, always a creepy look. That'd be wild. Yeah, <laughs> that's insane. I'm sure um, uh, people tuned in to hear about your mustache. <laughs> Nobody's watching at this point. Um, <laughs> so anyway, with that being said, uh, we're going to be talking about pH of 8 today. <laughs> so, so Actually, um, a topic that people probably would care about. Yeah, yeah. So this is, this is a genuine topic uh, that people would care about. PHFA <laughs> is a good program. It's Pennsylvania uh, grant program that allows people to get, you know, 5% of the purchase price or the appraised value of the home in a second. It's a second lien against the property, but it's a grant because it's forgivable. Um, well, before we go, to so yeah. PHFA is kind of like the, the uh, agency that kind of provides different mm -hmm. loan programs. The one yep. that we're specifically talking about, the one that everyone cares about is the K-Fit or the K-Flex, which is basically the grant. Part yeah, of the program. yeah, correct. So no one cares about PHFA unless you're getting the grant, for the most part. For the most part, <laughs> it's almost synonymous part. with the grant. Yeah, even so though there's other loan programs underneath PHFA. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, and and I think um, the the main thing I want to talk about today is I, I have one that's been in processing for a while now. I mean, <laughs> a couple of months. Um, they take a long time to underwrite files. They're very very busy. There's no communication with them over there unless you talk through your bank uh, to them. They don't make any sort of exceptions in any way, shape, or form. They don't bend. They don't break. They just ask for what they ask for, and that is it. So 
uh, in my certain, in my current situation, uh, they tried to do like a 45 day settlement. We had made them well aware at the beginning that like, Hey, look, this isn't going to be 45 days. It's going to be a lot longer. Um, and that's what it was. It was just, you know, they took forever to even look at the file because what has to happen is it needs to be clear to close with your bank first. Yeah, so then it's it basically gets, double under it. Yeah. So then it our bank submitted. underwrites it, clears it to close, mm-hmm. and then it goes to PHFA. Mm-hmm. And once it's in PHFA's hands, it's like, we're at the mercy of PHFA. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So. We were at the mercy of PHFA, got submitted to them. They were about a month behind of looking at things. So we submitted it, uh, say we submitted it on the 10th. They were looking at the 10th of November if we submitted it on the 10th of December. So you have to wait a full month for them to even look at your file, let alone figure out what is needed to close that file. So uh, it's something to be very cautious about. If you're going to do it, it's a great program. It's just be aware that it's going to take, it could take forever to do. Um, <laughs> we've had ones that were quicker than other ones, but. Yeah, I mean, I've closed them in, in less than 60 days on many occasions, mm-hmm. but the problem, I think, I think the main issue is, or the main thing to take away, transparency with the buyer, yep. with the selling agent, with the with your buyer's agent. Yep. If everyone is on the same page saying, Hey, listen, we're going to get this cleared to close on our end in under 30 days. And we're going to get it to PHFA at that point. It's like, hey. we're at their mercy. So yeah. as long as everyone's kind of comfortable with, with that knowledge, mm-hmm. um, it's a great program. You know, the, the buyer gets 5% of the sales price of the property in grant money. Yeah. It's forgivable in 10 years, every year, 10% of it's forgiven. So yep. let's say you never refinance that loan or never sell that house. You get 15 or, uh, I'm sorry, 5% of whatever the sales price is Yep, forgiven. Yeah. So, and there's a lot of people out there who, who, you know, might have the income and their death income's fine, but they don't have the cash. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, we, we do quite, you know, we do quite a bit of them, but as long as everyone's aware, <laughs> Yeah, you just got to be very cautious of all of that stuff. So, um, but with that being said, that's pretty much what it is, you know. So, um, I guess we'll get into the wins. What are you? Are you got any wins? I didn't think about one. Wins? Uh, I, no, I haven't worked a lot in the past week. Yeah, yeah full disclosure. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I had a little family tragedy. Not a little family tragedy, but a, a family t- tragedy. Um, and my win is that I just work for a company that is so supportive and so helpful with yeah. things like that when anyone's out. You know, they really step up and it feels like a family and uh, yeah, it's it feels good, you know, in a, in a very shit time yeah. to, for our family. We, we felt a lot of support. So no good, uh, man. Yeah, you no, know, I wouldn't I wouldn't go anywhere else gotcha, work, yeah. working in this industry. So, yeah, I feel like we are like a family. You know, I look at you as a son and um, <laughs> <you're> <laughs> <laughs> a younger, fitter, yeah. better looking. son. <laughs> yeah, 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 sure. Son's sure. mustache. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, <laughs> what would my win be? You know, be? Strockbine had a mustache forever. My dad. I think I've seen photos Ooh, of it. it was a fierce mustache. Yeah, no, like he could definitely grow a solid beard from my understanding. But yeah. Oh, yeah. Never, I mean, it wouldn't take beard. long. No. And somehow all four of his sons can't grow anything hair, on yeah. he can't grow. He can't grow hair, though, but he can grow a mad <laughs> That's beard. That's true. Um, and, the rest, <laughs> and the rest of you guys, yeah, you can't grow a beard, right? Mm-mm. Yeah. No, nah, that's tough. very, very scratchy and patchy. To the point where now Caden, who is my son, he's almost three years old, he'll tell me to go shave. He's like, go, like, Dude. don't go near me. He, yeah, get he's the like, shit you're, scra- face. you're scratching me. Get out. <laughs> so I shaved this morning, and he came up. He was like rubbing my face, and he actually let me give him a kiss. But. There you go, that boy. But. Um, my win for the week. Okay, so my win for the week is that I had a loan come in. I want to say beginning of this month, January third or fourth. Three weeks to close. Got it clear to close in two weeks. We settle tomorrow. Nice. So, yeah, settle tomorrow, too. Just getting things settled and closed. Dude. <laughs> it's nice. So nice. So nice. So, nice to have the business. Nice you to know, I have closed. my uh, my amount that I want funded this year. I have my goal, like, you know, how many, uh, how much millions I want to fund this year. So uh, I'm just able to, you know, as soon as I sign chip those boy. papers, just chip, 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 chip. You know, All right. Write that cool. up there on the board. So. Well, congrats. Congrats, brother. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, happy flannel Friday. Oh, do you do you have a quote? I don't. Yeah. Um, but I knew that was gonna be a short lift. <laughs> no, 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 it's not because I was thinking about one the whole time. So now I do have a quote. Oh, you know what my quote is. You know what my quote is. All right, this just came to my mind. No idea. Discipline is the best form of self love. There you go. Okay, cool. There you go. That's good. I like that. Yeah. Done. Thank you. I got it. Happy I, Friday. I have to. I have to start queuing these up during the week. Yeah, because I'm awful. not gonna ever remember them. All right. Yeah. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Flannel Friday. Flanny Friday, baby. Cheers. Cheers.